Most computer cases come with a number of fine and coarse screws in a small package attached to the case. You may also find a speaker. Remove the hard drive from its anti-static packing and handle it with care. This is a SATA hard drive and before continuing you should identify the make, model and size of the drive. These details can be normally found on the label attached to the hard drive. Do not touch the electronics of the drive unnecessarily and return it back to its anti-static packing when not in use. On the rear of the drive you should find two connectors. The one on the left is called a 15 pin power connector and the one on the right is a 7 pin signal connector. These connectors have an L type shape which means the cables can only be plugged in one way. Hold the drive at its side and slide it into one of the three and a half bays as shown here. Check that the connectors of the drives are pointing inwards. Once the drive is in position, secure with four core screws. To fit the DVD-ROM drive, you will need to remove one of the plastic panels and behind this you may find several metal panels. Carefully push one of the plastic panels out from within the case. By removing a second plastic panel will give you better access to the metal panels. Next one of these metal panels will need removing. In this instance there are four, each attached to the other by small lugs. To release one of them you will have to break the metal lugs that hold them together and this can be done by moving it back and forth. Replace one of the plastic panels now slide the DVD-ROM drive from the front and secure the drive using two fine screws each side. You will find a number of power cables from the power supply. The first of these is a small four pin power plug also called a bird plug and mainly used for the floppy disk drives. On the underside of this is an extra piece of plastic that is used to lock the connector into place. If you ever have to remove this connector from a device, always lift to unlock the connector, then pull. The shape of this connector makes it difficult but not impossible to plug the connector in the wrong way. The next connector is called a Molex plug. It has four pins and again a unique shape. It is used for PATA hard drives and PATA CD or DVD ROM drives. This connector is a SATA power connector and used to power SATA devices. In this instance there is only one SATA power connector and we have two SATA devices, a SATA hard drive and a SATA DVD ROM drive. So we shall use an adapter that will plug into one of the Molex power connectors. The one we are using here has one Molex to two SATA power plugs. Another power connector is the 20 or 24 pin motherboard connector. It consists of two rows of 10 or 12 connectors with an extra piece of plastic that is used to lock the connector into position. This connector can be split into a 20 and a 4 pin connector. We shall see later how these are plugged into the motherboard. Once again the ship only allows it to be plugged in one way. The final connector is a 4 pin 12 volt power connector and used to power some CPUs. You should be careful not to mix this with the 4 pin motherboard connector as this can damage the motherboard if they are swapped. You will find that most of the power connectors are duplicated for expansion purposes. Locate two SATA power plugs and connect them to the hard drive and the DVD-ROM drive as shown. Remember that the power connections on both drives have an L shape. So check that you have aligned the connectors correctly. In the next video lesson we shall take a tour around the motherboard 
and familiarise ourselves with the different types of connections, ports and sockets.